I'm glad you were able to make it today. Thanks for watching. Last week, I left off having removed the seat platforms to accommodate my bike so I could go on a ride. This week, I fixed them the right way. I removed the staples from one edge and part of the side so I could fold the carpet back. For most of the staples, I ended up using a mallet to drive in a cat's paw nail puller under the staple to pry it up. Generally, one of the legs of the staple would get stuck and I would have to pull it out with some slip joint pliers. I folded back the carpet, then marked off the line I wanted to cut, and cut the pieces on the balcony outside my apartment. I was a good neighbor and cleaned up after myself. After cutting the wood, I cut off the extra carpet and duplicated the original process to reupholster the pieces. Starting with the corners, cutting out part of the fold, then finishing with the sides. The screw holes I had drilled before were in the wrong position, so I drilled the new pilot holes and used the same screws. Now we've got to test it. I'm lucky enough to have vaulted ceilings in my apartment, so I store my bikes on the ceiling using hoists. Living on the third floor with a bike isn't ideal, but I do what I can with what I have. Every time I'm at the top of the stairs, I think of what it would take to ride down the three flights of stairs without dabbing. Thus far, I have not given it a try. I usually don't have any gear, so that helps discourage any shenanigans. All right, so that's how the bike fits in there. I'm very surprised by that, but it's kind of balanced precariously on this pedal. And then obviously on the fork mount. Realistically for longer trips, overnight trips and things, I would have the car seats down. And for shorter trips where I'm just commuting to and from the bike park. I do prefer just using this guy. It's a lot easier, obviously, than all the faffing about required to get this guy in here. This has one buckle. No, you can't see it, but two buckle, three buckle, and this car seat's out. And it's just a matter of flipping that forward, pulling that off. that down. So that slides up all the way. This Ooh. goes like such. Okay. There it goes. That car seat is out also. All right. So there we go. Now that everything's flattened out, it should be a lot easier to get the, the bike in. Hopefully. Push it in there a little bit. There it goes. And it was a happy accident, but a fortunate accident. This thing just, just lines up with the shelf. Shelf was the most sketchy amount of measuring I did. I just kind of used cardboard cutouts to try to estimate approximately the cut of it. And I was way off. Version 2.0 will definitely feature the sunlight the fork mount because this and it's mounted on the chain ring right there and on two little pieces of bolts and a piece of plywood so it's wiggly Locking it. Now I'll have a, I've got a sleeping bag and a foam mat that I'll lay out here. Honestly, just in and of itself, this isn't the most uncomfortable thing. Don't get me wrong, it's not comfortable, but it's flat. It could be worse. It could be worse. Well, hey, thanks for joining me today, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one.